uh, last time I think I was actually on the stage and uh, I talked about how in, at that point, our upcoming game Battleborn, we were starting to put in Easter eggs uh, for Borderlands uh, in Battleborn. And we had some really tough ones and the community figured it out and unlocked a, a lot of the Easter eggs that we have in Battleborn. And I thought that might be a good, a good transition uh, to, to bring up. Perfect, yeah, let's bring up creative director of Battleborn, Randy Varnell. Oh! Is that an eSports jersey? Isn't it? it is, it is. Uh, this, this is awesome. We, uh, we actually had a tournament at Choctaw Casino in Durant, Oklahoma last year. I, or last year. Last, last week. It's been a last long week. week. Yes. It's been a, lot, it's been uh, a week. long week. But we, uh, they printed these cool dev team jerseys. I've been wanting one of these for a while, and I guess we just had to make a game so I could get a jersey. So that, that was really – thank you, Randy. So yeah, is that why we jersey. did that? That was really cool. <laughs> Seems it, like a really close. roundabout way to get there, though, but all right. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a pretty awesome tournament. Some of the, those guys took home like 10, 10 grand in prizes. Yeah, or yeah. Cash. Cash. Cash, yeah. yeah. Yep. But that, and uh, the top two teams, uh, Dunk Squad and Lost Heroes, got to come to Gearbox, got to hang out with us. I got to see some uh, some of the other cool like future product stuff. They're totally totally legal in the aid, and they can't tell you anything about it. <laughs> but they got to hang out with us, and they got to play some Battleborn. Uh, Dunk Squad took it took it away. Uh, just cleaned up the tournament. Really really awesome guys. And, and let's give a round of applause to Dunk Squad and the Battleborn Woo! tournament. These guys are amazing. I know they're watching. Dunks out for Dunk Squad. That's right. So what about the Easter eggs? <laughs> The Easter eggs are amazing. Uh, if, if you guys were watching kind of that transpire, we had some really amazing people in the community. Uh, of course, our, our, our friend Middle Mars, who's done tons and tons of Battleborn support, uh, really kind of drove that. But it was actually a guy, I think, what is my name, I think was, is his name, uh, from the Reddit community, uh, who, who came and figured out the, the crazy thing that we had done, actually hiding them in a, in a, in a back corner of Battleborn uh, in Morse code that was reversed and all, all sorts of stuff. But uh, uh, some really crazy, crazy Easter eggs. Uh, just a couple of, of little teases about some things to come. I, I think uh, 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 not we don't have to tease it again here. You guys yeah, yeah. could yeah, Google yeah. like ba Battleborn, um, look for, look Borderlands for, Easter eggs. Reddit. Look for Middle Mars Battleborn Easter egg. He did an amazing video that talked about oh, kind of right. the journey of discovery of that. He highlights all the people in the community who are part of uncovering that. And a, a really great guy. His name's Peter Groot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am Groot. That is excellent. And now I'm sure he's never heard that before. Yeah, yeah right? No, for, from me. Yeah. yeah. So Battleborn <laughs> has taken an amazing uh, journey since its inception, and you kind of want to go over uh, just a little bit about how, how far we've come with, with Battleborn since its release. Sure. So, so when I was here with you guys last year, we were just about to release the game, and we're telling you about all the cool things that were coming out for Battleborn and how we had this plan to really support the game post-launch. And we wanted to take some time today to really kind of recap that and remind you of where we've done because we're really proud of this game and would love you guys to, to check it out if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Love you to play some more. So the, the dev team has been ridiculously busy for the last year, keeping pace with the community and really trying to get out some awesome new content for you guys. Uh, we released May 3rd last year, and I, just overall uh, in the year, we've, we've made over 1,600 updates or changes reflected in patch notes in our weekly battle plans. Uh, 42 battle plans uh, out of the 43 weeks uh, that we, we had since launch, so been very, very busy working with Joe King and community and, and uh, Elisa and all those people putting that together. Uh, and 40 out of 43 of those weeks since launch, we've had patch, patches, hot fixes, and new content. Now. I don't have any fancy rendering terms to add, add to the, the mix today, you know. But that's 93% of the weeks since we've launched Battleborn, we, we've added something or changed something or done something to improve the game for you guys. It really has been a labor of love from the dev team, and we want to make Battleborn just the, the best product that we absolutely can. So let's talk about some other numbers. Yes, there is a lot in this game. It is so, so awesome, just the sheer amount of content that we have. So the, the game released, you know, with 25 characters. It released with uh, some really awesome story missions with uh, uh, three multiplayer modes and multiple maps per mode. But we kept adding to it after launch. And just to talk about some of the things that were added, we were talking, uh, 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 not this PAX, but the uh, PAX Prime last in Seattle last fall. We were talking about the operation missions, uh, adding new content to the game that, that each operation mission, by the way, is, is Sam, Sam Winkler, are you over there? Boston Zone, Sam Winkler, everybody. Everybody Woo! give a shout out to Sam. Yes. Hi, honey. Hi. Uh, in, in fact, just to PAX last year, we called them out. We're talking about we're working with Sam on, on some additional writing for the, the, the post-release content for Battleborn. Sam wrote like most of the operation missions, 
most of the, 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 the characters that we did after that, so we're really happy to have Sam. Sam actually is in the Gearbox office in Frisco, Texas now. Uh, he shared an office with, with me for a little bit before he moved on to bigger and better things because, you know, apparently my, my hygiene habits are bad, and, and he is such <laughs> a handsome man, right? I mean, look at that. <laughs> and he's leaving. That That's just trailed right. off into awkward real quick there, yep. didn't Bye. it? Bye. All right, cool. So five new operation missions, each with multiple hours of story, really highlighting our characters, the awesome stuff. Five new characters. Uh, in fact, we saw uh, one of the cosplayers today here playing Beatrix. Beatrix. Oh, my right gosh. Amazing. Oh, wow, well done. Our, our, our fifth character that we released just this spring. 400 new skins, uh, 300 in the Operation Missions. There's a lot of skins, a lot of ways to take the Battleborn and, and make them your own. 80 new taunts, three new Versus maps we released right after launch to give you guys some more ways to play the Versus. One brand new mode that we brought out last, last fall called Face Off, another way to play the game. And even more of that. So uh, with all those updates, there was even one massive update that we've talked about. If you've watched The greatest show, villain of all time, Thaddeus Wishingbone, is of course uh, where we're going. Yes. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's not forget Thaddeus Wishingbone. So Mikey actually helped. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really proud about that. You guys love Mike. Mikey. Not only did he did he help write with kind of collaborate. We had a great writers room experience with you. Yeah, the, that that uh, one was very special. Danny yeah. Homan, who's also one of the Gearbox yes. writers, who came in. We all got all the Gearbox writers together on Toby's friendship raid, uh, and, and wrote that. And Mikey, actually, I don't know if you know this, voiced one of the one of the. the yeah, games. I played the. Vi I got to play a villain in a video game, and so uh, it's good. really goofy. <laughs> um, I think he's a leopard seal. Are you switching bone? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so as we found out. Because uh, it was for Toby's friendship break. Right, and Toby is a penguin we in a Mexican. We did all of our research. We're like, wait, what is the natural predator of a penguin? Because we didn't know. It's a leopard seal. It's a leopard seal, and they just eat them. Yeah. They just, the more you know. And that's it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, all right. So I eat seals. I can get into this. No, you're a seal that eats penguins. Sorry. I can, no, yeah, I can eat penguins. Well, I can eat seals, too. It doesn't. If it tastes good, do you put on your seal of approval? Oh, jeez. Okay, now I'm leaving. It's a great show. It's a great show. Right, See right. you guys. Uh, <laughs> I always get one, right? Uh, no, Varnell, you get zero. <laughs> Speaking of penguins in the Arctic, let's talk about our major winter updates that came out recently. So if you guys have ever wondered whether or not Gearbox supports its games or love its games, I I'd love to call out the winter update. We put out this, this update on January 19th this year. And uh, our, our producer, uh, Chris Brock, uh, mentioned on a stream that it was the, one of the largest updates, I think the largest update that he's ever participated in with Gearbox. And he's worked on a lot of the DLC and a lot of our products. He worked that. on Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep. And this yeah. is bigger. This is bigger. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So this was a major update to Battleborn. I want to walk you through that because if you haven't had a chance to try out Battleborn yet, I think this update is one of the biggest reasons to really give it another look and, and, and really look at it. We had, a, we, had, we had two new types of quests. We had daily quests, main quests, the chance to, to earn all sorts of different types of currency that you spend in Battleborn, both in credits and platinum. Uh, there was a major UI overhaul. Our UI designer, Jim Bailey, uh, did, a, did a good job, just cleaned up the game, uh, made it faster, made it easier to navigate the menus. You guys know how much of a difference that makes in, in games, and we're really proud of that. Uh, and, uh, we added draft mode and three new character select mo options to get in there. So if you're a competitive play, you like the draft pick, we used it in the tournament uh, last week. It was a major fact. You picks and bans, captain's mode, really, really awesome draft support in our competitive mode. Dozens of new challenges, 100-plus new titles, including... Battleborn Day. I'll call it out for a second because you guys, our community, are awesome. We really, really love all the passion you've had. And this is something that came just from the community, came from fans. The guys on Reddit got together and did a Battleborn Day. We've done two now. We did one in November and one again uh, in February. And, and it just the fans coming together said, we want to have a day. We try to get everybody together to play Battleborn again and get, get the numbers way up and have a really great time with everybody in the community. Of course, we as devs have come along with that. We've added titles and other things to support the game. I love, I love just this interaction that we have with you guys and the community and playing games that we love and playing games that we've made. That's amazing. You guys are give, give yourselves a hand because you yes. are awesome. Love you. So 50 more command ranks, which is the, the, the rank that you get leveling up, 150 more character ranks, five more characters, lots of ways to grow your character, to play the game, more rewards on, on all of that. 
Uh, and and uh, uh, one of the biggest numbers, funny, the numbers right here, we gave you 30 more frames. <laughs> so one of the... <laughs> How well, often are you in a panel in this day? No, 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 no. I just no. want to play. This isn't 30 <laughs> frames. This is 30 frames every single second. 30 frames a second more. So one of the, one of the things that we heard from a lot of people is that yes. the, the Battleborn is cool. It looks neat. It, it's awesome. But, you know, for a competitive game, we really want to run it at, at 60 FPS. And we'd really like to run it on 60 FPS on the Xbox and the PlayStation 4. Uh, we didn't think it was possible. We had some really superheroes uh, back at our dev team that got together, put it all together, and with the winter update, on every platform, uh, Battleborn now runs at 60 frames per second or greater. A major improvement to the game. A great time for you to come now and check it out. Super silky smooth, awesome art, awesome characters, great multiplayer, story gameplay, story mode, gear to collect and, and, and customize your characters with lots of skins, lots of taunts. Look, this game is full of stuff. I want and to say one thing. All right. I, I, I don't know if this is if the answer to this or not, but I'd like to challenge the entire game industry to come up with one other single example of any game in the history of all games ever that launched at 30 frames per second and then later updated uh, so that on console systems it could be 60 frames per second. I can't think of that ever happening. Uh, Uno for Xbox 360. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, that's not true. <laughs> That, that ran at like a million frames because it's Uno. So. <laughs> no, I don't know. Has that ever happened before? I don't know of any case where it's happened I'm before. sure we'll hear about it on Twitter right Somebody now. Somebody find me an example. <laughs> I want to know if we can Let claim to be check my phone. I want to know if we can claim to be the only people that have ever done it. Yeah. Smite Xbox One. Smite Xbox One. All right. Yeah. All right. And now we are listed among the greats like Smite for Xbox One. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no, Smite is awesome on Xbox it's One. Game. It's a good MOBA, third person action. I love it. Yeah. And my, all my of kid, this. My kid plays Smite all the time. Yeah. yeah. All of this between all of the major content, all of the winter update equals one tired but very, very proud development team. Yes. We, we here are, are very proud of the work uh, that we've done. We love our amazing, positive community.